But I want to hit the shared sacrifice point. I I've been involved in several deficit reduction efforts, and here's the news. Nobody likes deficit reduction. The way deficit reduction happens in our country is when everybody dislikes it in a kind of equally in a way that they think is fair. So it's very important if you're going to even go into programs like Medicaid and ask for savings, if you're going to squeeze on uh, discretionary spending in ways that, that uh, deal with uh, research and science, if you're going to do these things and ask for sacrifice, people need to know we're all in this together. So when we talk about things like why it's important not to permanently extend the high income tax cuts, it's not just the numbers. It's not just the extra trillion dollars, though that's important. Is it a trillion dollars? It is a trillion dollars over 10 years to both extend the increase in the estate tax exemption and the upper income tax cuts that are at dispute, one trillion. Now the reason that's important beyond that trillion is look, at, look what's happening on the Medicaid side. You're going to cut $770 billion, $770 billion. You can't say to anybody who would be affected by that that we have to do that, that we have no choice. We've had the greatest financial recession since the 30s. We've inherited a huge deficit and debt, and we have to deal with this. Because the fact is that all of those savings would be unnecessary if you were not funding the high income tax cuts. So it's important for having the kind of moral power to ask everybody to sacrifice, uh, uh, that you include revenues in the package, and particularly revenues on the most fortunate. It's not about class warfare. It's about shared sacrifice, and it's about having the moral authority to ask everybody in the country to be part of an effort that is going to squeeze us a little in the short term and medium term, but for the benefit of restoring confidence in our, in our long-term economic future.